Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here for our indoor cycling cardio workout. My name is Kirsten. We have the next 30 minutes together for a high intensity workout on the bike. Let's go. We are on our way. Let's start turning those pedals. Even though we're warming up, even though I don't want you to work hard yet, we need a little bit of pull against our legs. So I'm going to encourage you to bump those gears up until you feel that first initial catch. That little bit of a push point, just so that you know you are the one turning the pedals. They are not taking you for a ride. I want you to find a nice smooth cadence, something that feels really natural for you. I'm gonna suggest somewhere between about 85 and 90 to begin. The gear, somewhere between six and 10 perhaps. But if that range doesn't work for you, I encourage you to listen to your body. We're gonna float here for our first minute. Just get a feel for the saddle. And maybe think about our posture a little bit. We wanna take those shoulders down. We want our elbows relaxed. Nice and smooth on the saddle. No bouncing. You want to become one with your bike. All right. Good. Now let's nudge that gear up just by one. And let's add about five RPM. So wherever you started, let's add five RPM more. A very subtle increase in the intensity. It feels easy right now. Good. Now let's pull off those five RPM and add one more gear. So we are gonna progress in this warm up, but it's gonna be subtle and gradual. Great. Sitting nice and proud. Nice deep breaths for now. Now let's look to add five RPM more. Good. And what does it take to add those five RPM? A little bit more of a decisive downstroke, a little sharper on that upstroke. Now what about five RPM more again? Let's stretch out the posture a little bit and accelerate those legs. Great. Maintain this. And take off those 10 RPMs we added on. So again, you're sitting between 85 and 90. We're gonna add one more gear. You're feeling that progression, right? Oh yeah. We're gonna work with a one to 10 scale for our intensity today. We started at about a one. We're still easy, but we're feeling the beginning of that work. Let's add those five RPM. Great. Good. That's it. And five RPM more again. So we're floating right around those triple digits now. That is a great start. Hold it, hold it. Just extending this a little bit more. You're likely feeling that you're breathing a little faster now. Your heart's beating a little bit harder. That's normal, that's great. Can we add five RPM more? Let's try. Nice work. Come back to where we started. 85, 90. Another gear. Another gear. Good. Stay 85 to 90. Another gear. Now it's starting to feel a little bit sticky in the legs. As if a heavy wind has kind of hit you in the face or maybe you've come onto a little bit of a hill. It's not feeling so easy anymore. We're kind of floating our way into that moderate category. Four, five on 10. We're not gasping for air, but we're very aware that we're working. Another gear, another gear. Ooh. 
I want you to think about that upstroke. It's not just about the grind down. Scrape and pull using the back of your legs. Engage those hamstrings. Good. That's it. That's it. Ah. So that was your warm up. Now we start the interval work. We're going to back off for a few seconds. Here is the drill. We're going to do a one minute effort. We're going to combine that with three 20 second efforts. Our first focus is going to be pretty much similar to where we left off. Around 80 RPM, you're feeling that gentle upslope. The first minute, it starts right now. So intensity now, moderate to hard. It's tough, you'd like to recover, but deep down inside, you know you don't have to. That's where we're floating right now. RPM's right around 80. It is tougher than what we just did, the warm up, but you know you have a little bit more room to grow still. That's where I want you. That's where I want you. We're here for one minute. Good. You might feel how your abdominals are a little bit tighter, a little bit more engaged to help generate that pedal stroke. Nice, nice. a little below 80 RPM, a little above. I'm not super concerned, but try to stay as close as you can. I'll be giving you RPM guidance throughout this entire ride. We're going to work speed, we're going to work heavy climbs, and everything in between. All right. Now remove your resistance, lighten up, recover. Three times 20 seconds with only 10 seconds recovery in between. Same RPMs, way more intensity. So I want you to work hard. If you start getting a little breathy, that's okay too. So start adding that resistance where you left off, and I'm gonna suggest two more. 20 seconds, go. First hard push of the day. 20 seconds. Let's aim to get that gear up over 12, maybe up in the high teens, 18 or so, just depending on how you feel today. And relax, you get 10 seconds, just 10, and then we go again. Ready, set, we're back. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yep, keep your butt down in the saddle for now. Great work, great work. Ah, oh, that feels sticky, right? Back it off. Two down, one leg this to go. Ready, let's go. Same gear, same gear. Oh, the struggle is real. Come on. It's gritty. Done. You get a little longer to recover now. The exact same drill in terms of timing. Our focus is going to be on the standing climb. Steeper and slower. RPMs in the 60s. Gear at least two gears harder than the last drill. We're starting with the one minute effort. Ready, set, let's go. I've added on two. We got a minute on the clock. We're falling below the beat, that's okay. That's okay. We have a specific goal in mind to get up this steep incline. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Great job. Halfway through it. There is a gentle weight transfer side to side, but I want you to be mindful that your weight 
is a little bit back loaded. You want to use your legs, your glutes. You don't want to be heavy in the hands like I'm doing right now. Not what we're going for. Almost there. Oh yeah. I'm feeling this. You feeling this? Come on down, take that recovery. Because you know we got three by 20 seconds coming your way. That same standing position and possibly a little bit more gear. Hopefully a little bit more gear. All right. Deep breath. First one starts now. 22 seconds up top. Yep, yep, yep. Whew. That's it. Transfer side to side. And down. There's one. Two more, just the same. Did you challenge yourself enough? Do you want to try one more? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. You don't know until you try, right? What's the worst thing that could happen? You turn it down. No biggie. No biggie. Right in those low 60s. Dude. Ay, caramba. One more like this. All right, let's go. Fantastic. Hang on just a little bit longer. Finish strong, finish strong. Done. Recover. But the drill isn't over. The exact same timing again, but we're gonna focus on speed. So triple digits, ideally over 100 RPM for all of it. First one is the one minute, seven to eight on 10 intensity. Tough, but not breathless. Let's go. So gear will be a little lower. We're focusing on that controlled, quick turnover. Fantastic. That's it. You're doing it, you're doing it. Awesome. Now your body is calm. Shoulder level, hip level, it's staying nice and flat. You're getting there. A little bit more. Keep your eye on those RPMs. Don't let them drop. Don't let them drop. Just a few more seconds. And slow those legs. You can take a breather. We're going into our 20 second efforts. They gotta feel harder but the focus is still on the speed. Gear back where it was, maybe one more, because we have to intensify. Go. That's it. Feel that freedom in your legs. Great work. Great work. Slow. You can turn down or you can just let the lugs slow. Let the legs slow. We're going again. Up. Calm and controlled. I know the heart is going quick. We're in this together. Maintain. Whew. Slow. You're welcome to turn down, but you only got 10 seconds. 
before we accelerate again. Alrighty, go. Yes. Push pull, push and pull. It's so simple, right? Simple doesn't mean easy. Slow. I'm gonna give you two choices. If you're really uncomfortable and you're wondering how you're gonna finish this ride, I want you just to take a little bit of an extended recovery. If you're feeling fresh today, then let's come in for a bonus. A few more seconds, 15 seconds, big push, big push, big push. That's it, that's it, that's it. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, everyone take a load off. We're moving into power training. We're gonna work for 40 seconds. We're gonna rest for 20. We're gonna rest in the standing position and work on the saddle. So everyone turn that gear up. It's gonna be very similar to that first block of work we did around 80 RPM. So stand up, go slow. This is the recovery. Now we have 40 seconds. Sit down, push through this. Anywhere between high 70s and 90s, totally acceptable. If you hit 90, add a touch more on the gear. I really want you to work the power. Yep, yep. That's it, that's it. I want you to feel athletic, strong, and powerful. Great. That's it, that's it. Awesome. Whew. Now we're not touching the resistance. Slow down, stand up, walk as slow as you want. That was round one. We got four more, <laughs> just the same. 40 seconds on, 20 off. Ready? And let's go. Come on, work through it. If you were inching towards that 90 RPM mark last time, you might want to add one more gear. One more. Push pull. There's a smoothness, a machine-like feel to this. It's like pistons, boom, boom, boom. There you go, there you go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Great job, great job. You're closing in, you're closing in. Come on. We're in this together. Uh, back it off, but not literally. Intensity backs off by standing up, walking it out real slow. I know you're thinking about it. We've done two, that leaves three. Same drill, ready, and go. You can't get away with this using half a pedal stroke. You gotta drive down with that flat foot, engage the quads, but then you need the back half as well. Yep, yep, yep. Over halfway now, come on, come on. You're doing it, you're doing it. Hang on, hang on. Yee. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Finish strong to the very last second. There it is. It's hard mentally to repeat the exact same thing. I know that. So you're physically tired. I know you're a little bit mentally tired now too, but I'm gonna ask you to commit to two more efforts. The best you got, that's all I asked for. Best you got. Yep, heart rate is high. Discomfort level is high but so are the results. So let's get it done. Mm. Yep. Break it down. Break it down into one pedal stroke at a time if you have to. One more, one more, and then one more until the work is done. Yep. You 
got this, you got this. Up you get. Oh yeah, we're down to the last one. The heart rate is dropping in these 20 seconds. Not to a resting level, but just enough so we can go again. And let's go. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. Last 10. Last 10. Bring it home and this drill is over. Nailed it. Good. Turn it down. Relax. Great time for a little sip of water. This song is all about speed ramps. We have 75 seconds of effort starting at 90 RPM, adding five RPM increments until we are maxing out our speed. So resistance will be a little bit less than the last song. Okay, comparable to that one minute 20 drill or the end of your warm up. So let's say eight to about 12, where most people will sit. All right, everyone, let's find 90. So 90 feels all right, we got this. It's our starting point, it's our starting point. Ninety-five. Holding as close as you can to the target numbers. When all else fails, just try to bump up a little bit every time I say. One hundred. Yep. Now I know your eyes are focused on your screen because you're watching those RPMs. That's okay. 105, 105. That's it, that's it. One piece left, as fast as you can control. Yep, recovery is on its way. Can you hit that 120 mark? Only if it's with control. Back off the pressure on the pedals. Ooh, there's one. Good news is you get to try it two more times. A little recovery in between. All right. Easing your way back in. Was that gear perfect last time? Do you need one more, one less? Adjust. Let's restart this drill. 90 RPM. Yep. This is a backloaded interval where we really get the results and we feel the intensity of it in the last half. 95. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Trying to hold yourself accountable to those targets. Let's find a hundred, triple digits. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. If you're not sure, a little smile helps get you through. Let's find 105. 105, yeah, it's spicy, it's spicy, all right? But you got this. Yep, yep, yep. Now you know what's coming, right? The big 15 second surge to the finish line. Go. Come on. Race through it. Race through it. Pull it back. One more recovery. One more take at this drill. 
Ah. All right. A little 15 seconds to transition ourselves back towards that interval. Slowly adding that gear back where it needs to go. The legs are still slower, but they haven't come to a stop. We don't want to lose all that flow. 90. 90. Yep. This is it. Great stuff. Great stuff. You know how this goes. 95. Uh huh. 100. One oh five. Now let's see what you got. Come on, go for it. And relax. Excellent job. Good work. Now don't be deceived. The beat slowed way down, but that doesn't mean this is gonna be easy. Alrighty. So we are going to work with our strongest resistance in this song so that we're barely moving the pedals for 20 seconds. Let's try it. Oh, maybe in the 50s, you're on a bike, but suddenly it feels like you're doing some sort of strength training, right? I want you to drive down, pulling strong. Yes, that's it. That's it. Ooh, now lighten up. Was that your hardest gear yet today? I bet it was. Let's try the same drill, standing. Up it goes, up it goes. Woohoo! You can do this for 20 seconds. All righty. Come on down. You are so close to the finish line, you can taste it. We're gonna do one more on the saddle. Back it off and you can move on with your date. Let's go, let's go. I know you're talking to yourself right now. You got three seconds left. Lighten it up, but please keep your legs flowing. The resistance is light, just like when we first started this ride. Help that oxygen exchange. Help yourself recover faster by moving, by moving. So you can relax. The hard part is over. You've made it. This is kind of like your little gift, your transition back to the real world, back to whatever else you have to do in your day. But I hope you escaped for half an hour, gave yourself the gift of fitness. Your body thanks you, I thank you. Have an awesome rest of whatever your day holds. And I hope to see you back again soon. Bye everyone. If you want to continue your workout, just click over here. To work out in a gym, click in the description and become a member right now.